I overheard a teen telling her mom that she will be in church on the day that many dread, December 21st, 2012. I tell all that they should ask the Father to come dwell in their hearts this very day, and grow in His wisdom and walk in His Spirit. For this life is temporary, and we, that is, those who make it, must prepare for a life with Him. We shall see the events of this world exponentially increase in magnitude in 2011 and 2012. The wheels are rolling, the cogs are set in motion, darkness pursues righteousness as this world implodes. Love wrote a book and invited those who would receive him and his parameter, love, to himself, through himself, for an eternal abode with him. My heart hurts because many will not walk in love. This world is vain glory, not of the eternal Father. Modern man looks at his might. He looks at what he has accomplished. He says in his heart, we are the wealthiest and among the brightest. We have help from the original rebellion. We received wisdom and was given technology. Who can defeat us? We tell the people what to think. We convince them what to do. We drive the heart and, and mind of the moderns. We have no concern. Ha, moderns, you are deceived. John reveals in 1 John 2.16, For all that, it, that is in this world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the vain glory of life, is not of the Father, but of this world. This world is induced with much witchcraft, deceiving you from the truth that could abide in you if you turn, trust, and obey the Son. Deceit comes from most aspects of life. Television, sometimes family and friends, government, etc. Those who know the Son already know this. They also know the Father. Some governments of this world are already in chaos and many are joining suit. Wars are on the horizon and one will stand and proclaim false peace. UN Summit World Summit begins in May. Time has come for you to wash your hands of this world completely. This can be accomplished only through Him and His Spirit. Yes, time has come to transform. He does not want you to perish, but He does have His standard.